everybody, it's Katie here from Live It Well Nutrition and today I wanted to share with you a recipe I have used for years to make my own natural laundry detergent. I originally got this from the Wellness Mama and I found it incredibly simple as well as very aromatic which I really liked. I am a huge advocate for simple living, especially natural, chemical free, plastic free living and I try very hard to implement that into my home um, and a sense of normalcy for my son and soon to be daughter. <laughs> If you don't follow me yet, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the Live It Well Nutrition tribe. Uh, we talk about nutrition, of course, because I'm a holistic nutritionist. <laughs> um, and we also talk about minimalism, zero waste living, mom life, and a whole bunch of other stuff in between. If you'd like to learn more about me or my services, I do work online with many of my clients and you can find me at liveitwellnutrition.com. But in the meantime, I'd love to share little nuggets of this information with you on my channel. So let's get into this DIY natural laundry detergent. First of all, you'll need a few supplies to get started. You'll need a stirring spoon, a cheese grater, a one cup measuring cup, a large container for mixing. You'll also need a four liter mason jar, a stain remover stick if you want to make this a stain removing detergent. I didn't in this batch because I usually use this stick for my cloth diaper washing. For this recipe, as I am doubling it to fit perfectly into this four liter jar, you'll need two cast style soap bars. I use Dr. Bronner's with a lavender scent. For the laundry detergent, I used the brand Nelly's. And then you'll want borax washing powder to mix it in as well. I almost forgot when I filmed this to show you that you'll also want a tablespoon sized measuring spoon and that is for measuring out the amounts you'll add to your laundry but I also use it to help me transfer some of the powders from each jar as well. So the ratio is basically 1-1-1 meaning 1 cup Nellie's, 1 cup Borax and 1 Castile so far. Today I am doubling it just so that I make enough to last me a while. And trust me, this is a great way to bulk up your detergent stash on a budget as well. You only need one tablespoon for a small load, two tablespoons for a medium load, and three for an extra large or really soiled load. So you'll see in the end of this video just how far this will take you. Start by grating your soap and getting that out of the way. I personally like to put on some smooth jazz or a show. It only takes a few moments to grate once you find your rhythm. I only grate one bar at a time so that I can mix it in, in sections, but you'll see how much one bar of soap provides. I only grate one bar of soap at a time, but as you can see, just how much one bar of soap provides. I then pour in my powders, one cup of Nellie's, followed by one cup of Borax, and then my soap. Because I'm only halfway to filling up my mason jar at this point, it's really simple to mix around. I then grate my other soap, which you'll see in my big glass Tupperware. And this time, I add my powders to the Tupperware instead of the mason jar so that I can mix it better. Once it is all mixed well, I simply transfer it back over to the mason jar for an easy storage. Like I said, you only need one tablespoon per light load, two for a regular load of laundry, and three for an extra load, uh, an extra large load or extra dirty load of laundry. Make sure you label your detergent. In case you're like me, I put many things in mason jars. So although I've never mistaken my laundry powder for something else, I still wouldn't want to. <laughs> Keep it next to your laundry machine and that's it. You'll be set with this for a long time. My hope for you is that you see this video and get inspired. We are exposed to countless chemicals in our cleaning products, home care products, skin care products, even our food. And our bodies are struggling to keep up, not to mention the planet. The planet is definitely struggling to keep up. So my mission is to create this new sense of normalcy for my son a newer sense of the older kind of normalcy because a lot of this is the way our grandparents and great-grandparents lived. 
It was their normal and the planet was healthy and happy as well. By doing this, my family and I will have better health, we will contribute only good things to our planet, and my children will grow up and continue the way of living that they've always known to be their normal. Remember, we are the consumers and we dictate the market. If everybody stops buying a large conventional brand because it's toxic to the earth and to us, and they start purchasing natural brands instead, then you bet these big conventional brands will change their products to appease the consumers and start selling product again. So vote with your dollar, pick up these few ingredients that will take you a long way. Please comment below if you have any cool or interesting ways that you make your laundry detergent. I would love to hear from you and learn from you as well. Please like the video uh, if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more. This is Katie from Live It Well Nutrition. Live it well because you only live once.